Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy. Uh, today we're going to do a map tour of, I'm going to say this wrong, but I'm going to pronounce it Georgia Farms. G-E-O-R-J-A, Georgia Farms. So let's get into it. So, first thing we start off with is always the map. Looks like you got about 15, 12 fields, looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12 fields, it looks like. There's not much on this map, so to speak but we're gonna go through it anyways. This is what we own, field one. We own a farm, we own field one, and field two. There's your farm. Down here we have gas station. We have vehicle shop. We have livestock market. It says hot battle own on it, but I'm not sure why. We've got two livestock markets. DC oh G C H B grain elevator. Le Jardin des Farm Shop. I'm not even going to try to Champs Bakery. <coughs> okay. So, here is our house. You have a sleep trigger. Do we have a... I don't think we do. Yep. Let's just go all the way down. And we will start right here. Here's your gas station. And your farm shop. This is where you will tune up your equipment. This is where you will get your equipment from. I guess there are no boats. It's all fields, okay, that's fine. That's fine. This is currently the only world that we have. This is the livestock area. That's where you put your cattle and everything.
Oh, there it is. Sorry, you drop your. I guess you can drop your grain and everything if you want to sell it. Okay, let's see, let's go this way. There's another spot for dropping the grain, looks like. your bakery. I guess you can cut some of those trees. So like I said, there are no roads. It looks like just one front of us. Here's our house, like I said. Sleep trigger. There's our garage. That's our wardrobe. We can change our wardrobe if we want. And here's all our equipment. We got this little kind of open air shed. That's cool. I like the open air sheds myself. Actually, what I'd like to see is them do sheds. They have them. I just have to put them on. Or this piece is gone too. The whole thing's like a pole barn. Got some balloons, nice balloons. Got some potatoes. So all of your, let's go to the big map. All of your productions and everything that you have is right here. You only have that much. You start off with uh, 
a house and two fields. One, two. Okay. All of these fields here, that is sugar beet, sugar beet, good lord, sugar beet. This is potatoes, 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 looks like potatoes, potatoes, and wheat. So there's a map. It's not a very big map. Let's, uh, we have crop calendar. That's fine if you want to do that. Weather, prices, uh, I have everything in my, so I have a lot of mods, so. Uh, vehicle overview, finances, you start off with $100,000. No pets. Although you can buy pets. There's a couple contracts there you could probably do. Production chains. Uh, let's see here. Yours does not look like there's any. There is no collectibles to be had. That's it for that. Let's. There's your vehicles. Or that's your shop. Uh, used vehicles. Not bad. Used vehicles changes every so often. Here's what we start off with. Small tractor. We got a Steyr. 8150. Medium tractor. We have a Valtra Valmet, it looks like. And a Massey Ferguson. Uh, we have a harvester. Kind of would like to see him do something better than a Deutzfar on the harvesters. Seems like that's their go to. It's got a truck. Got a trailer. Got your header. Cultivator. It's a small cultivator. It is 2.5 meters. Yeah. I would be upgrading that. Uh, let's see, you got cedar. Could probably upgrade that too. Now this cedar you can do, it looks like you can do, yeah. You can do everything. Can't do corn, but you can do all the regular stuff with the cedar. Header trailer. With a small uh, farm, this is, I would probably get rid of the header trailer and just mount the header on the harvester. You got two weights. They're probably for your no leased items, that's good. And let's see. That's about it. There's not much to this, as I said. It's just a small. Here's your tractors. There's your Deutz for uh, combine or harvester. Yeah, your harvester trailer, I'd probably. Probably sell that. That's just me. Now, who is this map for? If we take a look at the map, I would say this is probably, if I were going to do a map playthrough on this, I would probably make most of these, I would turn a couple of these into uh, like. Like maybe one or two, like one, ten and ten and eight. I would probably let's see what's ready to go. Probably turn those into uh, productions. I would put my productions in one or two of these fields, and then I would use the rest for farming. But you could also do like here's a field here you could do put a cattle pin in there that's a that is an idea let's go check out like i said there's no there's no uh roads roads we're not going we don't need roads uh, let's see i think it's right here Check and see. I do not have. 
have any animal barns or pastures. Okay, so you'd have to uh, put up a, let's see what, I think you should be able to put up everything, pigs, chickens, cows, horses, uh, everything. Animals, yeah. Cows, horses, pigs, sheep. I would probably do sheep and chickens. Those are my two favorites. All right, no problem. Kind of would like to see them. I understand why they don't do it, but I'd kind of like to see them put a couple of collectibles in. That would be interesting. Maybe like say five to ten. You don't have to put the full hundred in. There's our balloons again. But I think that's what I would do is I would probably pick, like I said, two fields. I would either make one for animals and one for productions, like maybe say 10 and 12 and then 11. Everything else would be for uh, or you could do three and four, make your productions right there close to where you're at. I do want to see something. What is this? Is this all grass? Oh, this is grass. You could cut this. Probably put productions up here. Yeah, could do that. Anyway, that's a small map tour today. But that is called Georgia. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Georgia Farms. Take her. We'd like to see. Uh, we'd like to see them put in some. Uh, maybe just a couple. But we will go back to our farm. I don't know if I'm going to do a playthrough on this. If we did, it would not be very long. Maybe five episodes or so, just to show you what you can do with it. I mean, there's so much you can do with it. But take everything out and make your own farm. There's all your tractors, like I said. There's your two weights. You got three tractors. Two implements. One trailer. And one harvester. So, not a bad looking map. If you're just starting out, this would be a way to go. This would definitely be a good way to start to learn. You could learn how to harvest all your crop. Uh, you could learn how to put up productions. You could learn how to put down roads if you wanted. You could put roads in here. You could learn how to, you know, just everything. This would be a great map to learn on. But anything. Anyway. Uh, other than that, I think that's all there is to do. You could do uh, crop calendar. You could do seasons. It's a good way to learn seasons on this map. You definitely could do grapes on this, grapes and olives. And there's a whole bunch you could do. You could make your own town. So, anyway. This is Georgia Farms. I'm Andy's Games and Hobbies. Thanks for watching this map tour. And we'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye for now.